session we are going to study about uh, diversity in the basis of uh, habitat in our previous class we already covered diversity in the basis of habitat then a question arises in mind that what is the basic difference of habitat and habit in habitat i told you that habitat means a surrounding where a living organism lives and the eating behavior and all these things that means total structure is there in a total surrounding where we just talk the total surrounding as a habitat and the habit means the if you talk about the meaning of your habit it means your forms or size so basically habit means your forms or size so uh, habit means form or you can say as size so according to their form of a plant or according to size of a plant we basically divide total the plant kingdom into four types so our first one is your herb next one is your shrub and third one is your tree and the fourth one is your cone so if we talk about herb shrub tree and cone <coughs> basically according to their size and according to their forms of the plant they are basically divided into four types if we talk about herb part if we talk Uh, about herb structure it is basically weak stem that means their stem is soft in nature and uh, we just uh, take the examples of uh, herb as your rice plant as your wheat plant as your uh, grams they are these are the basic examples of your herb so what is herb herb means basically they are small plants and herb have soft stem that means herb stem are soft in nature and the basic examples basic examples of your herbs are is your rice wheat your grams these are the basic example of your herb nextly shrub the basic example of your shrubs are the plants which are which have medium sized plant that means mostly the flowering plants they have several stems in place of the main stem if we talk about a plant if a, if we talk about a structure of a plant here it is your main stem and here a number of branches is there leaves are there and other things if we talk about this structure as a flowering plant in flowering plant in case of this trunk there is a several plants are that means several branches are there and in every branches there is number of leaf structure and number of flowers are there fruiting boards are there all these things so in flowering plants they are medium size plant that means they are literally not big they are mid mid middle in nature and in case of herbs they are small in nature but in case of shrub these are middle in nature and middle size plants they have several stems in place of main stem in place of this main stem they are several types tiny structures are there small stems are there so these are the basic form that means the structure form your shrub and what is the basic example of your shrub plant so the examples of your shrub plants are your your china rose or your hina hina plant hina flower nextly your rose these are the basic examples of your shrub plant nextly the tree tree are literally big from of the total structure that means from this tree tree are basically big and a number of plants are included in it so these are basically large in nature and longer in that means the plants are longer in nature and woody that means the stem is woody and thick trunk that means the trunk is thick and woody in structure that means this structure is your uh, structure of your tree that means tree the trunk is woody in nature and according to the total large nature of this plant and the size and the form that means thick in nature that means the trunk is thick so they are basically differ into three types so they are again classified into classified into three types or three groups and what are the three groups the first one is your cudex first one is your cudex and the basic examples of your 
uh, Cudex is your coconut plant. That means if you talk about a plant, uh, a coconut plant, the leaves are arise. That means the branch of a crown of leaf is present. A crown of leaf and the branches both are present on the top of the plant. So here the basic uh, difference of your Cudex to the other plant. In other plants, there is a number of branches are there. Uh, stem is there. Woody stem is there. Longer stem is there. But here a number of a crown of leaves and a crown of branches are present on the upper stage of the plants. If you take an example of your coconut, palm tree, these all are the basic example of your Cudex. So coconuts and your palm. These are the two examples of your Qdex. Nextly, Exudent. Exudent. If we talk about Exudent, the plants which are uh, massed in nature, that means uh, if we talk about Exudent, it is the intermediate plant and uh, mostly they are present. That means the plant is in a axial condition. Axial condition means the plants uh, branches are that means there is a middle uh, long branches are there and again the stem is divided axially so it is uh, something look like this the plants where the branches are arise in a certain manner that means the branches are not literally uh, covered with leaves and uh, other fruiting boards and flowering boards they are axially arranged so these are the basic example of your exudent here i told you that the leaf is present at the top position here they are literally arranged the branches are arranged in a certain manner that is your exudent in exudent condition the basic example is your mast tree that means your debdar mast tree basically known as your debdar so it is the basic difference of your cudex and exudent and last one is your delicusent what is your delicusent If you talk about delicusent, in delicusent the tree trunk is uh, big in nature and large in nature, the plant is also large in nature and basically the middle structure of the plant is divided into a number of branches. If you talk about a mango plant, if you talk about a jackfruit plant, if you talk about a uh, banyan tree, all these things, all these plants are uh, come over your delicusent. So these are the basic example that means your mango. Mango is a common example of your delicusent. I just change the color. Mango plant and your banyan tree. Banyan tree. These are the some, some of the common example of your delicusent. So, if you talk about the tree, these plants are large in nature, longer in nature. That means uh, the total plant is long in nature, woody and thick trunk. They have presence of thick trunk and according to all this structure it is again classified into three types that means three groups one is your cudex exudent and delicusent if you talk about the cruiser cudex that means there there is a number of branches with leaves which are present on the top of the uh, plant that means there is there is no leaves or the uh, branches are present all the long stem but in the upper stage there is a number of fruiting boards flowers and a number of leaves are present branches and leaves are present on the top of the position crown of the position so they are the cudex in nature and uh, uh, the example of your cudex is your coconut and plant palm and next one is your exudent exudent means the presence of the uh, branches in the axial position that means the branches are arranged in a certain uh, structure in the top to the uh, bottom of the plant bottom to the top of the plant and they are pre presence of the leaves and the branches in a certain order and the basic example is your mastery that daru nextly your delicusent in delicusent the uh, again the tree trunk is that means the woody tree trunk is again divided into a number of branches and uh, they are mostly woody in nature and large in number and uh, basically mango banyans these are the some of the basic examples here delicusent so these are the uh, basic means of your uh, tree and their classification nextly the last one is your cone so if we talk about cone 
the plant is the that means in this uh, condition the plants are boost that means there is a boost structure is there and uh, literally branches are there and number of plants are arise from this structure that means uh, this phylum uh, uh, cool and uh, the plants that means uh, these plants have uh, distinct nodes and internodes that means uh, there is a difference between your nodes and internodes that means what is your internode and node so if you talk about a bamboo tree that means if you talk about a bamboo there is a number of uh, structures are there somehow like uh, this i just try to draw an egg part of a bamboo if we talk about this bamboo that means this uh, structure of a band of bamboo it is uh, again your this is your node this is your node this is also node these are the nodes so according to this uh, uh, structure if we talk about this node and this node and this node there is some of the positions and these positions are the internodes these are the internodes and the point is that these plants have distinct nodes and internodes that means these places are distinct over here distinct that means we saw these uh, points uh, literally so this is your node this is your internode this is your node this is your internode that means we just saw the positions that means these have distinct nodes and internodes that means node and internode are distinct in nature and the basic things are it is hollow but in these cases we talk about that uh, talk that it is woody in nature and here also this these things are woody in nature that means the forms newton medium xylem foam tissue both are there but the cylindrical position is not not there that means in case of herb in case of sorb in case of tree all these things this is this is uh, quite different among these three that means because here the newton medium flo flotation of newton medium is there xylem phloem tissue are there a couple of stages later we just discussed all these things briefly so basically here culm in this stage the node is or an internode is distinct and the interesting thing is that it is hollow in nature that means the stem is hollow this is the stem and it is hollow in nature so it is the basic difference of your culm to the other trees that means according to your tree herb tree sorb all these things so in habit we talk about forms and the size of the plant according to form of a form and the size it is basically divided into four types one is your herb sorb tree and fourth one is a culm and with the examples hope this part is uh, understood to all of you nextly diversity on the basis of life sir everything that exists in this uh, uh, total surrounding having a certain type of life period and uh, in this life period he, he just uh, survive a number of stages later if we talk about ourselves in our childhood stage to adult stage adult age to old age old age to death so it is a sequential order and containing of a number of life span so according to this life span plant life is again divided into a number of types but basically we just divide into it into four types that means basically the life span is divided into four types so if we talk about the life span of a plant that, that means the diversity on the basis of life span it is again divided into four types one is your ephemeral second one is your annual another one is your biennial and last one is your perennial so the plants which are come under the ephemeral condition they have short life span condition that means 3 to 4 months that means complete the life span within 3 to 4 months then what is the examples of your 3 to 4 months plants that means potatoes tomatoes these are the basic examples of your ephemeral condition this is the examples potato tomatoes these are the basic examples of your ephemeral condition nextly annual annual means one year so complete their life span within another one year that means the plants which include in this annual condition they are complete their life span within one year that means your if we talk about one year uh, the examples are basic examples are your rice wheat maize these are the basic examples so basic examples are your rice wheat maize these are the some of the examples of your annual condition nextly biennial annual means your one biennial means your two complete their life span within two year if we talk about complete their life span within top top Uh, two year that means these plants come under your biennial condition and the basic uh, examples of your uh, uh, biennial condition is your uh, radish carrot 
रेडिस कैरट दीज आर द सम अफ द एक्जामपल्स अफ योर बैनियल कंडीशन सो वि जस्ट कम्प्लीट थ्री थिंग्स ओवर योर एफिमेरा हाविंग सर्ट लाइफ टर्म दैट इज थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स पटाटो टमाटोज दीज आर द एक्जाम्पल्स दैट मीन्स दे कम्प्लीट देयर लाइफ टर्म ओवर योर इट इज दट मीन्स दस इफ यू प्लांट ए बेबी पटाटो प्लांट वी जस्ट फाउंड दैट मीन्स द टोटल लाइफ टर्म इज योर थ्री टू फोर मंथ दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम द सीडलिंग टू द fruiting that means total condition is uh, come over your 3 to 4 months in annual means in annually in every stages that means if you basically talk about the example of your rice wheat or maize these grains are uh, commonly cultivated in one year that means entire year throughout the year these uh, things are cultivated nextly biennial condition that means uh, for the seedling stage to the uh, cultivation this uh, continues two years that means your biennial condition nextly perennial condition in perennial condition they complete their life Spend more than two years. That means the uh, big trees. That means the trees which come under uh, your deliquescent plant basically is come under in your uh, perennial condition. That means the banyan tree is there, the mango tree, and the imli plant. That means your uh, terminine plant. These, these all these are the common examples of your perennial condition. If you talk about the examples, mango is there, uh, and your uh, banyan tree is also there. and your imli imli means your uh, terminal plant basically these are the common examples here uh, perennial condition so according to the life span we just divide it to it into four types one is your ephemeral the life span is 3 to 4 months potato tomatoes are come under this category and ne next is your annual annual means your total life span is your one year that means from the seedling to the last stage it is your rice wheat maize that means the grains which are cultivated in your annual annually biennial condition means it comes under two years that means within two years radish carrot all these things nextly your perennial perennials uh, that means the basically come under your deliquescent that means your tree is basically divided classified into three types and the last stage is your deliquescent set in deliquescent i told you that the plants which uh, come under your deliquescent are the distinct branch nodes and into nodes and they are your mango banyan all these things and they are come under your perennial condition perennial mean, means the life span is two to more years is come under your perennial so this is the basic means of your life span and the, this is the basic means of habitat and all the examples i told over here uh, your herbs sorb tree called culm and your in this condition in ephemerals annuals biennial perennial i just uh, uh, decide all these th things that means uh, all the examples are come over in a single side slide after the class uh, in the same video you just uh, look over all these examples uh, with uh, a number of uh, diagrammatic manner uh, in the last stage and hope uh, all this session is uh, helpful to you till then stay tuned thank you